Look at that, y'all. Beautiful meat. Check that out, y'all. Beautiful stuff. Now what I'm gonna do is just take and shake right in nice, directly in the middle of that salad, y'all. Just like that. Whoa. In the shade of the trees, from the lights and the leaves to the bites on your knees, kill the universe. Might get a sight of the breeze. You're not psychic. You're what is up, YouTube? It's your boy Angler Boy T Black checking in with a whole nother video, y'all. This intro right here is definitely in a different location. I'm at home, just kick back. I'm taking the day off. I decided to do some editing and I made this catch and cook. Look at that beautiful pompano salad, y'all. I don't want to show it too much because you're going to see how I caught the fish, how I cleaned it, and how I made this entire salad right in this video, y'all. I'm super excited to be touching base with you guys this much and being in the keys as much just for y'all. So stick around, guys, for another lit video. That was a Mac? I'm like, how you get cut? Oh, I see him on top. There's a couple of them on top. You gotta get them on the long sink if you go in mono. Curvel. It should be Pompano showing up here soon, boys. There should be Pompano showing up here soon. Oh, yeah. That's our guy. Nice size one. Bleed him out. Couple gills. And once again, y'all, like I always do, my box way down there. So I got to put this guy right here for now. Oh, I might be on one too, dog. Oh yeah, double! Let me get over there, mama, please. Let me come over you. Oh my God. Bro, anybody got net? You got net? Oh man, I gotta thug it out. He underneath, dude, this a oh, big one. A big one. Ooh. He whacked me, dog. I told y'all boys them Pompano was gonna show up. I just said it, not even two minutes ago. Oh my God, get up here, please. Freaking fish guys do it for me. I got a hand line. This he heavy dog. Hey, Brandon Cooper, where you going? <laughs> oh, Woo Yo, that's 20 to 20 plus, bro. Hold that not not so close to the water, boy. Woo! I told you. I'm telling you. All right, y'all. I got two pompano in here. I had this thing sitting in the cooler for like eight hours. But that's one of the pompano. I already gutted them, y'all. I was going to bake them whole, but I decided to make some salad today. So I'm going to make a quick pompano salad. I got my knife right here. I just need to get the meat off this as much as I possibly can. Take that angle right there, into the head, turn my knife, ride that backbone, baby. Just like that, all the way down. It's 
super easy fish to clean, y'all. Mine's kind of mushy because I had that sitting in the cooler for a few extra hours than I'd like to. I've been fishing so much, y'all. I've been tired. I had to give myself a few a day of rest. Not gonna lie, but it's time to get to it. So there's one side. There's one nice fillet, y'all. Let's get the other. Just like that. First cut into the head. Find the spine. And you ride it. Once you find the spine, you're good. Hold, use your finger to hold her open and then glide the knife. Just like that. Not so bad for a pretty thought out fish. If I don't say so myself. I don't need to go too far into that rib cage, but I'm gonna go right over. Just like that. That's my two fillets. That's my carcass. I didn't do too bad, y'all. Check that out. Not too bad. Let's get that back in there. Getting this guy. Good thing I already bled these guys out when I was out there in the keys. That's my skin right there. I didn't do too bad. As you can see, the blood right here is not so much. Nice little fillet, baby. Oh, yeah, any day. And I'll be using this to make a salad, so I could definitely use nice chunks. Let me just clean this section up a little bit. Just like that. It's a nice little loin. Get some of that bloodline off the back. Oh yeah, nice and beautiful, baby. Let's get this section too. Straight through, knock that off. Rib cage already out. Flip that. See that bloodline there? And take a nice section off of that. Get that bloodline out of there. Just like that. Just like that. That's what I got from the first fillet, y'all. These two pieces, just like that. That's my first fillet. Nice buttery fish, too. So I'll keep this. Let's set this over here off to the side. So that way I can clean this other fillet. I'll lay my knife. Not so close, I don't want bloody. This pompano got like leather skin, y'all, so you don't gotta worry about that. This stuff is literally like leather. So that's that. Get this all out of the way. Super simple, y'all. I'ma pan pan uh pan sear this stuff. Then I'ma prep a little salad in a bowl. Hit it with some um dressing and call it lunch. That's all that's going on here. I'm trying to get this little skin off right now. That's good. Now, if y'all can see that right here, that's like a nice piece of bloodline. So what I'm gonna do is start in the middle, make a downward cut, and then ride in one direction, then do the same thing on the other direction. So that's one side, bloodline gone. Then I'll do it to this side. Well, when I get here, angle cut and I'm done that's that 
Nice little filet right there if I don't say so myself. Add him to the bunch. I got rib cage on this side, no worries. Look at that, guys. Take that, go right underneath this rib cage. Definitely don't want any bones in my salad, so I'm gonna lose a fair amount of meat, but it's gonna be for a good cause. Got a few bones here, just trying to get those guys out. Just like that. All this is gonna be waste, or chum for that matter. And then, oh my god, Mr. Lizard, if you don't get out of here, this real life in nature stuff. I had a lizard plotting on my, my fillets. Look at that, y'all. Hurry up and get this in the house so that way I can get a pan and get that going look at that y'all beautiful meat oh yeah not the worst fillet job but if you guys could check it out this texture is definitely a lot more uh thawed than i would like i'm gonna dry these off hit it with some seasoning and then i'll see you guys when i'm in the kitchen so stick around for that baby oh yeah All right, y'all, check it out. I went ahead and cut up some iceberg lettuce and then some sprig mix. I put that together, a little bit of carrot, sliced carrots right there. Made a nice little salad right there, y'all. I went ahead and dried off those fillets just like that. I got some butter, some cheese for the salad. And then I got my favorite seasonings, adobo, lemon pepper, and Last but not least, Lowry season salt. That's all you're gonna need for this. Before I get the butter in the pan, I'm gonna turn it on. Turn the stove on really quick. Now, I'll set this aside, because I need to cut this, I need to uh, make chunks with this fish. So let me rinse off this knife again. I'm gonna just make some nice sizable chunks. Just like that, y'all. Take this one in half. Just like that. Bring it over here. Get our chunks going. While that pan's getting hot. Oh yeah. Make these chunks. And then I'll season them as they're cooking, y'all. I'll show y'all how to do that, but first we need chunks. Just like that. No specific sizes, you could do chunks, cubes, circles, rings, diamonds, whatever you want. As long as this fish gets cooked, seasoned, it'll fit perfectly in a nice salad. I got a pretty good amount of fish there. Take that butter. I think she's starting to get hot. I'm gonna press that and let it stay. Just need a nice coat. I don't need this fish to be too oily for a salad. So I'm gonna just get it nice and coated. Let that sit there for a second. Look at that fish, y'all. Nice chunks. It's gonna go right into this salad, right on top. A little dressing, mix it up. Lunch, baby. Oh yeah. Get that nice and coated, just like that. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Set this bad boy aside, just like that. Let this come to a temp. Then we're gonna get these in there, mix them around a little bit, hit it with a little bit of each one of these three seasonings right here, y'all. And then that's that. We'll have a salad prepped in less than five, 10 minutes. I'm just waiting for this pan to get a little bit hotter. Might need a little bit more butter, not gonna lie. 
I don't want these guys to stick. There we go. Just like that. Now I think I should be good. I should be good with that. Test the waters. Oh yeah. There we go. Let's get our chunks in there nice and spread out. Hear that sizzle, baby? We cooking. We cooking now, baby. We doing this live action. Raw. Let's get them all in this back corner right here. And then I'm going to season them all up. Show you how to do that. Start off with the lemon pepper. Nice and generous, baby. Just like that. Then a little bit of adobo. Be generous with this, guys, because remember, your veg has no seasoning. So that should work right there. And then all that extra seasoning that you see in this pan, we're going to get that. Look at that, baby. Just like that. Oh, yeah. Already cooking, y'all. Check that out. Oh, yeah. Now we're going to let that cook some more. Grab our spatula. Oof, that smell is serious. Pompano smells like nothing else. I'm gonna just roll these around like a hockey puck, hockey puck on the ice until it's nice and thoroughly cooked. Oh yeah, a couple more seconds y'all. This ain't gonna take no longer than I'd say two minutes, three minutes max. And then we'll have some nice chunks to add to that salad and we're good. Nice quick little lunch, y'all. Nothing crazy, you know. Let's take out one of these chunks and show you guys. Look at the consistency, the texture. It's almost like a chicken, y'all. Check that out. Almost like chicken, y'all. Ooh, tasty. We starting to brown here. We're perfect. All right, y'all. I brought this back outside because I always like to eat my meals at home outside. I've been that way since a kid. I'm pretty sure some of y'all been like that since a kid too. I know I'm crazy, y'all. Y'all get to see it in every video, but here it is, y'all. I got some Sprig Mix public stuff in the bag. It comes with the purple cabbage, a little bit of carrots, and then some romaine lettuce, but I added some more iceberg lettuce. I like the iceberg lettuce, y'all. The cheaper one is the iceberg. I like them both. I don't care. Greens are green. Lettuce is lettuce. I got some ranch right here. A little bit of cheese. Let's hit this up with the cheese right now. Ooh. And the star of our show, y'all. Mix that in a little bit. The star of our show. Look at that beautifully cooked pompano. And that amazing, aesthetically pleasing glass. Y'all see the pinky extended, though. Check that out, y'all beautiful stuff now what I'm gonna do is just take and shake right in nice directly in the middle of that salad y'all just like that whoa look at that y'all whoo I'm making this video this catch and cook pretty quick just like the rest of them cuz I'm starving y'all look at that though beautiful salad let's hit it with the dressing 
right in front of y'all. Let's hit this with the dressing, baby. Get it to the front and then you just zigzag them. Hit them with the ziggity zag. And then you go back in the same line, just a little bit off and bam. There it is, y'all. That's like a $40 salad right there. I'm telling you right now, that's like a pound, a little bit more of pompano meat fresh caught just yesterday. Look at that, y'all. Beautiful, man. I'm going to turn this around. Y'all know how we always do it. I'm going to get a bite, maybe a few with y'all, and then we're going to get out of here as we say our goodbyes until next time. So let's do that, baby. Whew. Look at that, y'all. Oh my God, I really outdid myself. Look at that, y'all. Woo-hoo, Pompano salad, baby. Woo, I'm excited, let's get a bite. Get her a little nice mix. Mix her down, get some of that Pompano on that fork. Let's see. Mm. Mm. Can't go wrong with a good salad, y'all. Three seasonings, sprig mix. You don't have to add the extra lettuce like I did. Any kind of lettuce or salad mix with that pompano on it, hmm, you got yourself a doozy, baby. Mm, look at that, y'all. Nice, healthy stuff. Wipe my mouth. really quick y'all i just want to say thank you all for all the love i've been getting on the channel y'all you guys just don't know how much this support means to me i love and appreciate you guys thank you for always checking in always dropping comments showing love visiting me on these visits uh, visiting me on these trips i'm sorry y'all i'm all over the place i got this salad to eat i just want to give some thanks to y'all so thank you for watching i love you guys and peace See you in the next one, y'all.